God, and your mercy enjoy it forever, my God. Father, we come to praise you. We come to honor you. We come to bless your holy name, oh Father. Father, we stand before you, almighty God, to say that you are the King of kings, and you are the Lord of lords, and you are the Lord of armies, almighty God. Father, we stand before you, almighty God, to lift up our praises before you in spirit and in truth. Manda brasha kotori anda ribe kiri oro koshi ala. Rebanda liyo koshi le yaramatori ashiki la manda liyo koto. We stand before your presence, Almighty God, in the spirit that you have breathed in us, in the life that you have breathed in us, Almighty God. We praise you. We praise you, O righteous King. We praise you. We praise you, O Abba Father. We praise you. Father, we praise you because you are God and you are God all by yourself. Father, we praise you because of your goodness. Father, we praise you because of your mercy. Father, we praise you because of your faithfulness. Father, we praise you because of you and who you are. Father, you are a good God. We don't deserve you. We don't deserve your mercy. We don't deserve your goodness, Father. We praise you. We praise you, Father, because you woke us up this morning and we are in the land of the living. I want each and every one of us to raise our hands to glory. Say something to Abba, Father. Speak to your Father and say how good he is. How kind he is. And that is mercy and joy forever. Father, we lift our hands to you, almighty God. To say thank you, Father. Thank you, Abba, Father. For you are a good God. Father, we are, you are, we are all your children, O oh God. And we do not deserve your love. Yes, Father. We don't deserve. We don't deserve what you're giving to us, Almighty God. But we come to say thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your goodness and thank you for your mercy. Father, we lift up our hands in, in praise. We lift up our hands, Almighty God, to say thank you, Father. We lift up our hands this morning to say, Father, hallelujah. Hallelujah to you, O King of Kings. Hallelujah to you, o Lord of Lords. Father, we praise your name and we worship you, Almighty God. For you are God. You are God and you are God all by yourself. We come to say hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, you are a good God. We praise you because you are a faithful God. We praise you, oh God, because you got us through this week. We praise you, God, because you are faithful. We praise you, oh God, because you are our healer. Father, in times of need, you come to our rescue. We praise you, oh Father. We praise you, we praise you, we praise you. We praise you, Father, for you have breathed your life into us. We praise you, Father, because you have breathed your spirit in us. We praise you, Father, because you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the beginning and the end. We praise you, Father, because there is no end to you. Father, we honor you. We honor you as our Lord and as our Savior. We honor you, Almighty God, because you are the supreme ruler of heaven and earth. We praise you, oh Father, because you are the creator of all things in heaven and in earth, almighty God. Father, we praise you because you are supreme ruler of the heaven and earth. Father, the earth is your footstool and the riches thereof. We praise you, O God. Father, we praise you for every single thing that you have given to us. Let us not take it for granted. Father, we thank you for you are the Alpha, the Omega. You are the Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Father, you have provided for us. You have provided shelter. You 
you are providing life. You are providing means for us to earn an income, Almighty God. You have provided us with health, Almighty God. Let us not take it for granted. For there are many, Almighty God, that are not in the land of the living. Father, there are many, Almighty God, that, that are in the beds of hospitals. There are many, Almighty God, that are struggling to breathe. There are many, Almighty God, that are just struggling, Almighty God, in this life. But Father, you have given us, given us the ability to breathe, to speak, to hear, to, to learn the capacity to understand. Father, there are many, Almighty God, that do not have their senses today. So, Father, we thank you, Father. Father, we have the ability to go out and earn an income. Father, we take it not for granted. From the time you rose us up this morning with breath, Father, we thank you. Father, your word says, let everything that have life praise you. So we have life this morning. Let us join and say to our Father, praise you, O God. Praise you, Almighty God. Father, we praise you, O God. We cannot praise you enough. Father, let everything, let every fiber in our body praise you, Almighty God. Everything, Almighty God. Oh, Father, our blood vessels, our hair, Every fiber in our beings, every organ in our body, praise you, O oh God. Every single hair on our heads that you have numbered, Almighty oh God, let it praise you, O oh God. Every membrane, let it praise you, O oh God. Every organ, let it praise you, O oh God. Every chromosome in your body, let it praise you, O oh God. For we are alive and in the land of the living, Almighty oh God. We praise you, O oh God. Father, we praise you, oh Father, for the ability, almighty God, to earn an income. Father, we praise you, almighty God, that you have given us every single thing to sustain us, almighty God. Father, you are the author. You are the sustainer of all our beings. Father, we praise you, oh God. Father, we praise you, almighty God, for never leaving and never forsaking us, almighty God. Father, throughout this week, almighty God, you were there with us. You brought us through last week. We praise you, oh God, for sustaining us, almighty God. We praise you, oh God, through all the tribulations, through all the trials, almighty God. We praise you, oh God, for you were with us, almighty God. Father, you were with us every single time, Almighty God. You never left us, Almighty God. So we praise you, oh God. Father, your breath is in our bodies, Almighty God. Our life is in our bodies, Almighty God. You are breathing to us, Almighty God. Father, we praise you, oh God. We praise you, Almighty God. With our tongues, with our ears, with our eyes, with everything, Almighty God, we praise you. All the senses, all the brasho coriander, Father, the five senses that you give us, Almighty God, we use it and we say, Praise you, Rasho Kodaba. Praise you, oh God. Father, we praise you, O oh God, because you are a faithful God. Father, we praise you, O oh God, because you make way for us, O oh When there are times when we see, when we think that there is no way, O oh God, you have made a way for us, O oh mighty God. Father, the same God that you are, you are never changing God. You never change, oh God. You are a faithful God. You always make a way for us, Almighty God. Father, you come to our rescue. You come to our aid, Almighty God. Father, we praise you. We praise you because you are like Tokashama. We praise you because you are salvation. So we fail, oh God, Almighty God. We praise you because because you are giving us your peace, oh Kashamare. Your peace that passes the Lord understanding. We praise you, oh God, because your Holy Ghost teaches us, oh Kamare. We praise you, oh God, because you hold our hands, eh, Kotoria. From the rising of the sun, oh mighty God, we praise you. To his going down, oh mighty God, we praise you. Oh God, Yoshi, Kinamanhan, Yokote. Father, we praise you, oh Kasha. We praise you, Almighty God, because, oh God, of who you are, Almighty God. We praise you, oh God, because you have left us with dominion over this earth, oh gosh, according to Genesis, Almighty God. You have left us with all the dominion over this 
answered to Kasha. So we praise you, O oh God. We praise you, O oh God, because you have given us the authority to trample over serpents and scorpions. We praise you, O oh God, because you have given us all the many over the desert. You have given us almighty God, the authority, all the authority over the enemy, O oh God. So we praise you. We praise you, O oh God, because you said nothing will ever hurt us. We praise you, O oh God, because your righteousness follows the forest. We praise you, O oh God, because you are rock. You are our fortress. You are our deliverer. You are our defender, O oh God. Father, when the enemy stand a scandal against us, Almighty God, Jesus, O oh, our lawyer, our defender, Almighty God, he defends us against the enemy. We praise you, O oh God, because you are left with us, a defender. We praise you, O oh God, because you have left with us your son blood. The blood of Almighty God. We praise you for your overcoming blood of the Lamb. We praise you for redemption. We praise you, O oh God, that we are no longer under the law, but we are under grace, O oh God. We praise you, O oh God, because you are our defender. Father, you fight our battles for us. The unseen battles, Almighty God. We praise you, O oh God. Father, when the enemy come against us, sometimes uh, we we are not aware of it, Almighty God, but you fight all battles for us. We praise you, O oh God, the Jehovah Gibor, the one that never loses a battle. God, we praise you, O oh God, because because you fight for us. We praise you, O oh God, because you set a standard against our enemies. We praise you, O oh God, because you teach our hands to fight, to break the power of sin. We praise you, O oh God, because you fight for us. Father, we do not fight against flesh and blood. We fight against things that we cannot see. But Father, you see and you know everything, Almighty God. So we praise you. We praise you, Almighty God. Father, you got us to another week. We praise you, O God. We come before you all today. We praise you today, Almighty God. We come today, Almighty God. This is our Thanksgiving Sunday. But every single day is a day that we give you thanks. Every single day is a day that we give you praise, Almighty God. Just for being who you are. We praise you, God, because of just who you are. Father, you left us here on this earth to go but you never leave us alone. You never ever leave us, Almighty God. Father, we praise you. We praise you for the victory. We praise you, O oh God, as the overcoming Lamb. We praise you, O oh God. We praise you. Oh, Eva Kona Ne Sharia. Rebonda Nia Kataria Koria. Rebanda Yokos Vokida. Father, I call on you, oh merciful Father, that you, when we welcome you, Holy Spirit, that your Holy Spirit will grace us with his presence, grace us with your presence, Holy Spirit. For this worship is for you. It is not for us, but it is for you, Holy Ghost. Father, we call on your angels. We call on your ministering angels. We call on your protection angels. We call on your angels, Almighty God, to be loose in this sanctuary, Almighty God. Let your angels be seated amongst us, Almighty God. Oh, Mary, I'll show you and that about your love. We deploy your angels, Almighty God, at the entry point, Almighty God, at the door, Almighty God, at those stairs, Almighty God. We bless your angels. Let your angels be loose, oh, Riva Sharaba. Let your angels be loose, oh, Ko Sharaba, on the roof, Almighty God. I call on your blood, Almighty God. I call on your blood, Almighty God. And I release and I see us under your blood, Almighty God. I release and I see each and every one of us, Almighty God, under your blood. From the crop of our heads, Almighty God, with your blood. Let your blood, Almighty God, permeate so called Every single one of us, Almighty God, and all of families, Almighty God. Let your blood, Almighty God, remove anything, Almighty God. I call on your blood. I call on your blood, Almighty God, to remove anything. 
Almighty God, that is not of you. Anything, Almighty God, that is not of you. Let your blood remove, Almighty God. Because your blood still has power over 2,000 years, Almighty God. And it will never, ever lose its power, oh God. Let your blood, Almighty God, remove any spirit of limitation, Almighty God, any spirit of sickness, any spirit of distraction, Almighty God, any spirit of headache, any spirit of laziness, any spirit, Almighty God, that is contrary to you. Let the blood remove it, Almighty God. Father, I call on your angels, Almighty God. I call on your archangels, Almighty God. I rest on the table, Almighty God. Any diabolical spirit, Almighty God, that has been placed on assignment against this worship, Almighty God. Father, you are the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the king of kings and the lord of armies. You are the God that fights our battles. I call you Gibori. 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 I Evo Kosheva Vekiala, the Kamando Yokoto Yarava. Let your blood, Almighty God, be placed on Kosharaba from the stairs, O Masharaba. Let your blood, Almighty God, saturate, O Kapoto Yarava, at the ancient point, Almighty God. I place your blood and I see this place under your blood. I place your blood, Almighty God, at the door, at the threshold. O Mariachi Yarokoto Yarava, at the doorway, uh, at the threshold, uh, at the doorpost, uh, at every window, almighty God. I saturate this whole place for Kushara Bandaria. Under your blood, almighty God. I saturate the floors. I saturate the walls. I saturate the seat on your brood. Oh, Patala Yadoria Kunale Bandaria. Eke Baroki Nakala Bandaria Kotoria. Father. I decree and I declare that no one that is not a few will be able to enter this place. And if they ever do, Almighty God, Holy Ghost, reveal them, Almighty God. Reveal them, Almighty God. Let the mischief that they come with, Almighty God, we send it back, Almighty God. Father, I come on the airwaves. I come on the internet, Almighty God. And I saturate it, take out all of Under your blood, Almighty God. I saturate every single nook and cranny of this place under your blood, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rebeki mananda di oko chere, eke la babo le yara shekadara, rebonda di oko tori araba, zara ibule soko sharaba. This this worship before you, Almighty God. Let it be pleasing to you, Almighty God, as we present it, Almighty God, in spirit akatwaraba and in truth, Almighty God. Father, I present, Almighty God, the man and the woman of God, Almighty God, our senior pad, pastor, Almighty God, and our prophet, Almighty God, even Peter Osborne, Father, bless their coming in, bless their coming out, Almighty God, Father, continue to bless them, anoint them, Almighty God, give them fresh anointing, Almighty God, Father, I call on your spirit, your spirit of power, power, Almighty God, drop your power on them, Almighty God, drop fresh anointing on them, Almighty God, as they lead Christ for the deliverance ministry, Almighty God. Father, I 
Let there be no lack in their life, Almighty God. Bless, they are coming in and they are coming out. Oh, Almighty God. Sure to them, Almighty God. Sure to them in a man, Almighty God, as only you can, O God. But I present, I present the children of Christ for Lord's deliverance ministry, Almighty God. Father, they are the next generation. They are the next generation for you, Almighty God. Father, each and every child in Christ for Lord's deliverance ministry. Father, I bless them at your altar, Almighty God. Father, I lift up each and every one of the children, Almighty God. Father, open up their hearts, say, cut straighten them, Almighty God. Drop on them your power, Almighty God. Father, all the purpose that you have placed in them, the same of purpose that you placed in them, I decree and I declare that it shall be accomplished in each and every one of them, Almighty God. Quicken the spirit in all of them, Almighty God. Creating the seal, Almighty God, and the torso and the knowledge of who you are, Christ Jesus. Father, they are the next generation. Oh, Father, bless these children. Bless their hands. Bless their heads. Bless their minds. Give them the capacity as they grow from strength to strength, Almighty God. Cover our children, Almighty God. Cover each and every one of them and strengthen them, Almighty God. Father, I I bring, Almighty God, all the members of Christ for Lord's deliverance ministry, Almighty God. In the same way, O oh God, you have placed so your Savior in all of us, Almighty God. The Savior of ministry. Father, let every purpose, every purpose in each and every one of the members, Almighty God, let it be fulfilled, Almighty God. For you know the plans that you have for us, Almighty God. For us, Almighty God, to do us good, to give us expected end, Almighty God. Let there be the expected end that you have already written for your people, O God. Father, I come to say in you, listen, Almighty God, that your God, that your Father, that your Lordship is over this place. We declare your Lordship over Christ for the deliverance ministry, O oh God. We declare your Lordship over our lives, Almighty God. We declare your Lordship over Antigua and Barbuda, Almighty God. This is a land, Almighty God, but they cannot do it without you. For kings, kingdom prime ministers, they have limit God. But you, Father, oh, you have no limit, Almighty God. You create all things. You are the ruler of all things, Almighty God. Oh, Mariyoshi, we declare your lordship over Antigua and Barbuda. We declare your lordship over Antigua and Barbuda. Father, we praise you. We honor you. You are our Lord. You are our Savior. Father, without you, we are nothing. You are the Lord who sustains us, Almighty God. Oh, Maria Kasharia Batoria. Father, every single person coming into this door, Father, that are on their way. Father, I call on divine insurance, Almighty God. Let there be, Almighty God, no incidents and accidents, Almighty God, as they travel, Almighty God, to the sanctuary, Almighty God, and bless them, oh Father. Father, the man and the woman bring in your word, oh Father. Let your word be timely. Let it be timely, Almighty God. Oh Holy Ghost, let your word be timely, Almighty God, that it brings transformation. That your word brings changes. That your word brings deliverance. That your word brings, Almighty God, the miracles, Almighty God. Every single person touched by your word, Father, let them not leave the same. 
that the changes will come by your word, Almighty God, by your word. The power of your word, Almighty God, that can pierce through bones, that can pass through water, Almighty God. It is your word, Almighty God, that can do that. Not us, Almighty God. Not us. For you said, Almighty God, faith comes by hearing and hearing by your word. Hearing by your word. That is the power of your word, Almighty God. Let there be, Almighty God, not the hearers only, but the doers, Almighty God. That your word Almighty God, that He will quicken the spirit of each and every one of your people, of each and every one of the hearers, Almighty God, not only in this country, but He extends, O Koshara, to the internet and all. Father, we will not stop praising you, for we know of your goodness, we know of your mercy, we know who you are as a God that is a faithful God, we know who you are as a God that, that makes a way for us to take us Father, you have always shown us that you are a good God. You are a good God, oh Father. And your mercy endure forever. So we praise you, oh God. We praise you, oh God. Father, even when we praise you, you say the blessings will come down. So there are benefits for it. Praise God from whom all. Praise you, oh God. For your mercy endure forever. Praise you, oh God. Praise you, oh God. Oh, praise you, Father. Praise you, Father. Oh, Father, we can't stop praising you. Father, we love you. We love you because you first love us, oh my dear God. And we thank you for your love. Father, I call on you. I call on you, oh my dear God, to cover our oh, praise worship team, Almighty God. Cover them, Almighty God, for the work that they have done. They are doing for you, Almighty God. Continue the good work that you are doing in them, Almighty God. For they are playing for you, Almighty God, with the talents that you have poured on them, Almighty God. Pour fresh, pour fresh anointing in their hands, Almighty God. Pour fresh anointing in their hands, Almighty God, of the drama, Almighty God, is place for you. Let it be directed by you, Holy Ghost. Let it be directed by you and you alone. I bring the keyboardist to you, Almighty God. Anoint his hands. Oh, Maria Roshia. Anoint his hands, Almighty God. Let them be hear from you, Almighty God. Let them hear from you and let them be directed by you, O oh God, to play for you, Holy Ghost. And you alone. I bring our praise worship leader, Almighty oh God, our oh vocalist, Almighty oh God. Anoint her voice, Anoint her, Almighty oh God. Anoint her life, Almighty oh God. And she sings for you, Almighty oh God. All of this, Almighty oh God, is for your glory and your honor. For we cannot take your glory. We cannot take your honor. We will not take it, Almighty oh God. It belongs only to you. We praise you, Father. And we deliver this worship, Almighty God, in your hands. We say, Almighty God, let it be pleasing to you. Let it be like a sweet fragrance as we offer it up to you, Almighty God. And let your presence be filled. Fill this place with your presence, O oh God. Fill this place with your glory, O oh God. Fill this place, Almighty God, with your presence. As we welcome you, Rebo Shikira Mandale Yokoto. Reke Baba Wake Kala Yorobe Yamanda Yakote. Ike Mandala Brakore Yalanda Yakoto Yashiki Baba. Re Baba Yale Yala Lore Yale Kedaba. E Kamanda Yokoto Yandale Bekele Yashiki Baba. Praise you, Father. Praise you. 
As we welcome you, Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Glory, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we offer this prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning, everybody. For those of you that are outside, you can come on in. Come on, let's turn our Bibles to Galatians 5. For the scripture reading, I want everyone to please stand up. For the scripture reading, please stand up. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5. I'm going to read one, you're going to read two, we're going to read simultaneously until we get to the end. Amen. Everybody got their Bibles to Galatians chapter 5? Okay. Galatians chapter 5 from verse 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Behold, I call that if ye be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised, that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, he hath fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but by faith which the Lord has done. Galatians chapter 5, verse 7. Ye did run well, who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? Persuasion cometh not of him that calleth you. A little living, living the whole lump. I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will not otherwise find it. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? There, there is the offense of the cross ceased. I will there were ever cut off, which shall show you. For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an excuse to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the Lord is filled with one word, even in this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But if ye bite and devour one another, take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusted against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, inclinations, wrath, strife, seditions, envies, murders drunkenness, reviling, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ, the 25. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. 26 together. Let us not be desirous of great glory, provoking one another, envying one another. This is the word of the Lord.
we're about to go in deep waters. I want you to put on the board Isaiah. Isaiah 58, we started from verse 6. Amen. And we are going to go all the way to 9. But I want, before you sit, I want you to read this scripture. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Is not this the fast that I've chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness. To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burden. To undo the heavy burden. And to let the oppressed go free. And to let the oppressed go free. And that he break every yoke. And that he break every yoke. Is it not to deal thy bread? Come on, read, read, read. Everyone, I'm asking you to read. Start it then. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry? And that thou bring the poor that are passed out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thy own flesh, then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy help shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. The Lord shall cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of the, the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, and the seeking vanity. I want you to read the, the first verse 6 for me. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Is not this the fast that I've chosen? To lose the bands of wickedness. To lose the bands of wickedness. To undo the heavy burden. To undo the what? Heavy burden. Heavy burden. And to let the oppressed go free. And to let the oppressed go free. And that he break every yoke. And that he break every yoke. As a true widow, true widow, I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to trust in God. True widow, true widow, I've learned to depend. Father, we come before you this morning with a thanksgiving 
name of God to lift up your name to glorify your name mighty God for you are my king you are my savior you are my friend you are my all in all you are the king of glory you are the everlasting father you are the prince of peace you are the God that I can call upon you are the God that hears us you are the God that protects us you are the God that heals us you are the God that directs us you are the God that is our all in all we can call upon you as the songwriter said oh sweet to trust in Jesus just to take him as our own oh God this morning we call upon your God and we take our rightful position in the atmosphere and we say God let your spirit begin to saturate this house let your glory let your anointing let your power in dimension begin to flow in this ministry in the name of Jesus because we love you almighty God and without the father we are nothing without your God we cannot make it without the mighty God we will feel but oh God this morning we are calling upon your God we are looking to the hills from where it's coming to help oh I'm coming from your Lord who rule heaven and earth mighty God we call upon you this morning I bind every prince of this region I bind every territorial spirit I lock them and I chuck them in the name of Jesus Christ and I said the weapon this morning that farm against us will never be able to prosper I said the church mighty God must move to another dimension of another glory as the psalm said mighty God we are a tree that planted by the rivers of water that mean we are a seed and seed can dead and so Father God we rise with a righteous indignation this morning and we say Father this is a fasting that we choose to break the bands asunder and to set the captive free. Lord God, this morning I pray in the name of Jesus that people will be loose under the power of the Holy Ghost. People's mind will be renewed and freshness will come out of their belly with flow rivers of living water. Let them come to a place of sacrament in dimension in the Holy Ghost. Let the glory rest upon them this morning. I pray down every heaviness. I delete every heaviness in the name of Jesus Christ. And I cramp and paralyze every darkness, every plans, and every works of the enemy this morning. I said the word must go forth this morning. He must go for with power, signs and wonders and miracles. In the name of Jesus, let God arise in this building and let the enemy run. In the name of Jesus Christ, because God has given us the power over hell, death, and the grave. And so this morning, oh God, we give you glory. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Lift your hands and give God glory. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Shout to the Almighty God. Shout to the Almighty God. Shout to the Almighty God. Manda basaka talama. Mighty God. Before I enter into the word, I just want to pick up my son. Welcome back. Amen. Come on, give back up. Amen. All the way together. Amen. But he has back. Amen. No people go on vacation and take long, Lord Jesus. So this yesterday, me I said, it look like you come back from Grenada. But this morning I see you in church. Come on, clap for me. Reach back safely. Clap for him. Mighty God. Give your glory, Father. We give your glory. Amen. Glory to God. I just want to introduce my third son to you. Amen. I have some big sons, you know. Amen. Come on, start my son. Let them see you. Amen. He's the third one. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He's a great guy. I love him. Amen. He played for the national team in St. Kitts basketball. Amen. And I bring him here to stay with me. And I love him so much. Amen. Amen. The power of God. Say, Lord, drop power upon him. God Almighty. Say, Lord, drop power upon him in Jesus' name. 
Mighty God, let the glory of the Almighty God rest upon him in the name of Jesus. Because you must come and take up the mantle of your Father in the name of Jesus. Man, don't rock the top Rika Payaba. Because in times like these, do you know in times like these we need prayer warriors? We need people who are going to sacrifice yourself to be on the front line to be praying for one another. Now the Bible stated that it's not this the fasting that I choose. And now I want to talk to you about fasting and I want you to understand that when, when, you, when you kill the flesh the spirit rise a little higher. The more you kill the flesh, is the more the spirit rise. The more you feed the flesh, is the more the spirit down. But any time you feed the spirit and the enemy come around you, I tell you, my daughter, my sons, the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. We started a 21 day fasting and it ended last week. And when I look at the fasting, I am looking at myself and I said, Lord Jesus, what I need from God, this 21 days alone cannot help me. Lord God Almighty, if you want to stretch longer, if you want more of God, come on, put up your hand and say, Lord, give me more. Lord, teach me more. Lord, This is fasting. When it comes to fasting, it breaks bands asunder and it sets captive free. In order for you to climb in great dimension, in order for you to reach the pinnacle where God wants you to be, you have to put over yourself in fasting and prayer. I tell you the truth to the church. Without fasting and prayer, the church is going to be down forever. Why you believe the enemy is knocking some people around the world in a different churches? Lord God Almighty, I said the church has no power. The church has no anointing on their life because the fasting that God has called them to do, it is running out of the church. The world is running into the church and the church is running into the world and there is no one to take up the mantle but say Lord help me to do the work I'm going to be very very brief today in the morning when you wake up and you say hallelujah I hear someone who says that but yes church you say, all right, I got to go to work for 7 o'clock. So you wake up 5.30 or you wake up 6 o'clock. And then you rush into the kitchen. And you begin to put on some food. Because the intention that you have is to feed the physical body. And the physical body wants food. It needs food to survive. But before you feed the physical body, you must wake up a dear man in the early in the morning and get on your knees before God and say, God, I am crying out to you. I need you. Oh, I need you. Lord, give me the appetite to refuse food in the name of Jesus. I am going on assignment and I need to feel the flesh because I need a spirit to arise. Oh, Lord. Help me to do the will of your purpose. A man who don't feed his spirit is a dead man. When we say dead, 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 dead. I was in St. Kitts. And while I was there, there was a big crusade that was going on. My spiritual father was there with me. I was his armor bearer. And there was a deliverance session that was going on. And the ushers was in the aisle. 
and they were moving around because it's over 3,000 people were under the tent. And I was there, I was going with my father because my duty as the armor bearer it is to make sure that my father all right. And so I don't respond for nobody else. But something tell me, look in the crowd. And when I look in the crowd, I see a woman standing in front of another woman. Now the woman was a usher. Lord God Almighty, and she was trying to cast the demon out. And the demon said, look here. Come from in front of me. Move from in front of me. And she speak in tongues. And the demon laugh. I said, she put her hands up. And the demon laugh. I said, when I see the disgrace, why come? I said, I have to run. I said, if only the Holy Ghost could have lift me and drop me between them. And I said, you woman that is carrying this family the spirit. I said, shut him out. And I removed the woman. And I said, what is this? And I remember the scripture that Jesus when the disciples asked Jesus, teach us how to pray. Teach us. Do you know that Jesus used to get up a great time before dawn? Long time before dawn. And when he get up, he entered into the wilderness. And he prayed. He prayed. And what he had done, he had spent two, three hours with God every morning. And when he comes down the road to do deliverance, he only spent few minutes with the demon. Because when you spend more time with God, you spend less time with the enemy. But when you don't spend time with God, you spend the whole day with the enemy. Fasting. I am here to encourage you about fasting. The 21 days fasting has ended. But some of us, we don't understand that in order to break the yokes and to, to remove the captive that is over your life, you need to fast. You need to fast and pray. There's a scripture that says, if my people, find a scripture for me, if my people who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will you hear from heaven and then God will give you land if you need Antigua to hear if you need your land to hear if you need your cousin life to hear if you need your sister life to hear if you need your brother life to hear if you need your auntie life to hear if you need your cousin life to hear you need to fast and pray Do you know that your mouth could cross me and he loved to talk? You, you ever see some people in a chat, man? But when they come to pray, they can't pray. They now open their mouth to say something. Oh, Jesus. All them know is our Father wants in heaven. Hallow be your name, thy kingdom come and then it's crumbling rest. And then you ask them, why you, you don't know how to do it? They say, Lord, I never practice all the time. You two or three minutes, give me fuck and do it in my mind. Lord Jesus, but I come to tell you today, prayer in your mind can't work. You need to open your mouth and say, God, I call upon you. Oh, son of David, have mercy upon me. I call upon you to break the bonds asunder and to set my children free. Many of you have been going through some situation and you don't know where it is started. Some of you are born and you don't know where the trigger of your problem is. Now if you get fasting and prayer seriously and you enter into fasting and you go to God and you say, God, this situation, it is for my mother, it is for my father, and I'm looking at it, want to take over my children. Oh Lord, show me what is going on. Show me what is wrong. Lock yourself away from food and sacrifice yourself in fasting and prayer. God will show up and miracle will come and your children will be delivered, your family will be delivered, your mother, your father, your aunt, your cousin, your niece, your nephew, all of them will be delivered. You go, you go to 
work every day. And when you reach your work, when 12 o'clock comes for the lunch time, who don't no, no go for lunch? Put up your hand. If you don't go for lunch, put up your hand. Everybody want to eat when lunch time comes. But if you can take 15 minutes out of the hour lunch time that you get and say, Father, me are eating nothing today. I am standing up on the solid rock and I am going to press in. I am going to move forward and the gates of hell shall not prevail against me because I have a situation and I need a solution. I need to connect with the heaven. I need to connect with the source of heaven. I need a response. Lord, hear me. It is very important that you understand that we are in a season of prayer. We have to pray. There are many people today, they are not able to own themselves. They are not able to go through life as how they should have been going through because the things of life it's just having them, knocking them out, leading them into wrong direction. Everything you put the hand to just can't work. But today, I come to tell you, if you open your mouth that God did to you, and begin to shout to God with a voice of triumph, shout unto God, God will push you through. Many times, I am home. And I sit down and I say, Lord, I know the ministry that you place on my life is not an ordinary one. And so, it is very hard for me, Lord, to do what you want me to do. And all I am talking to God, God is not answering me. Because he said, we have much is given. Much is required. And if I need to work for God, then there is some requirement. I have to lay aside every heavy weight and run the rest with patient. That means the heavy weight of the food. I got to lay it aside and I have to come to a place and say, Lord, I am sacrificing myself for your people. Many times you're home. And I have homes just praying, seeking the Lord, on my face before God, not praying for myself, because I couldn't tell when I pray for myself, I can't tell when I pray for myself, I ask God to do something, every time I get on my knees, I say, God, help Sister Jenny, help Brother Paul, help Mary, help Antigua, help the government, help the people of Christ for the rest of the rest ministry, help the churches in Antigua, Lord, help, help, help. Understand that the miracle working power, the dunamis power, the dunamis power, the, the king killer anointing. Those things don't come easily. Now, in order for you to move forward, and in order for you to reach the pinnacle that God wants you to be, you have to put yourself in a position to not care about nothing what nobody said because your mind make up that you will serve God and you will serve Him to the fullest. You will take time out in prayer and fasting and you will seek the Lord. You will hold on to Him. You will say, God, you are my refuge. You are my strength. You are my fortress. It is very important. Read that scripture again for me. Quickly, work with me. It is very important. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. Hold on. Well, if God is saying that if my people, that means you have some people where are not God's people. Jesus Christ. You 
talking about some people who is not God people. Because he said, what? If my what? My people. If my people who are what? God by my name. Oh God, there are people today that God has called mighty God. And they are doing things, but they don't want to get deeper in Christ. They don't want to come up to another level. They don't want to see the dimension and the dimension of the Holy Ghost rest upon them. But today, lift your eyes to heaven and say, God, help me to carry out your work. Help me to do your will. Help me to do your purpose. Help me to follow your work. Help me, Lord, to do your will. Remember this. The Bible stated the enemy is like a roaring lion. He's seeking for who he may devour. Do you know that in order for you to get rid of death or the devil, do you know that you have to kill death? Do you know in order for you to get away from death, you have to kill death. Every human being on this earth got to kill death. You see, sometimes death comes in your life. You know? And when death comes, whether death comes by somebody or death comes accidentally, Lord Jesus, death comes because death have a time to sweep your way. But you have to stand up in fasting and prayer and say, I shall not die, but I shall live and declare the glory of the most high God. There are many people today that get untimely death. Untimely death. Some things happen to people. Many people that died and gone. Some of them should have still been here. Some of them should have been here. But the enemy, the devil, is like a roaring lion. And he smack and sweet them out. But I come to them to tell you that God will protect you. God will lift you up. God will guide you. God will lead you. God will direct you. God will strengthen you. God will hold you. God will understand that you love him. And God will never let you go. I said, stand up on your feet and give God glory. Raise up and say, God, I thank you. I thank you, Lord, for life. Come on, take two minutes and just give God glory. Come on, take two, take two minutes and give God glory for all that He has done for you. Some of you should have died, but God find a way to make you live. I said, some of your children should have passed away because death is swinging at your door. But today is the fast that I choose to break the bands asunder and to set the captive free. I said, rise with a voice of triumph, treasure. Shout unto the Lord. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. But I shall live on the clear the glory of the most of God. Have a seat. I want you to go to Psalms 35, 13. Psalms 35, 13. I want to come down quickly today. Psalms 35, 13. I want you to understand the person that loves prayer and fasting show me a poor house. Hear me very well. Anyone, my daughter, that loves fasting and prayer, hear me, show me a poor house. That man, you don't play with a man like that. I play with a woman like that. When a woman or a man know how to go down on their face before God and strip themselves from every food and say, God, if you don't show up, me now move. Me say, God, if you don't answer, me now move. You have to come up and get radical and say, God, there's some situation, me now move. Read Psalms for me. As for me, when they were sick, 
my clothing was sacred. I humbled my soul when fasting, ah. and my prayer returned into mine. Hold on. I humble my soul with fasting and prayer. In order for your soul to be humble the right way, you have to humble it with fasting. There are some things that you're going through. There are some things that hold on for your life. Lord God, all of a sudden, everything you just get upset. Everything you just get ignorant. Lord God, that is a spirit of anger. And you don't want to leave you like that. Because it's coming from generation to generation. But you need to go down in a fasting. You need to go down in a prayer. I said, God, this generational curse of anger is following me. I come to the Lord and I need it to be broken. Very important. Read it again for me. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I hung when they were sick. So when somebody sick, the only way to get them revived is to take away yourself in a fasting and prayer. So your knees get weak in fasting and prayer. I remember I was fasting for the first time as a young Christian man for three days, night and day without water, nothing. Lord God Almighty, when I catch the third day, I feel like every tripe in my belly I come out because the first time we had a fasting like that. But Lord God Almighty, I so when I come out of the three day fasting and I walk down the road, I saw a mad woman and the mad woman run. I said, no, come here, me. Come where you are, come here. I don't have no power to do with that. You see when you are in fasting, and you come out, you come out with power. You come out with elevation. You come out with motivation. You come out with the glory of the Almighty God upon your life. Very important. This ministry, we are looking for people that willing to commit themselves to fasting and prayer. Who will take time out to love the Lord thy God with all of your heart? There's a song said when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me. My soul, cry out hallelujah, thank God for saving me. I am telling you the truth, church. If you are not putting yourself away in fasting and prayer, then the enemy will knock you out from there today. I want to tell you something. I was doing a difference last week. Last week. And when the demon began to manifest, the demon said, I want to kill you. I said, why do you want to kill me? He said, there's a certain woman that here, a prophet, 50,000 years here, to kill him. Ah, Jesus. And he said, he said, no, no, kill me yet. He said, because when I look at you, there's a fire around you. In order for you to resist the devil, then you must have fire around you. I said, in order for you to overcome the enemy, you must have the fire of God around you. When you have the fire, no clear what they do. They can't touch you. I said, they touch you, and they touch you, but you bounce right back. But you're a hard man to dead. Let me, let me, let me break down Psalms 1 for you. He said, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor seated in the seat of the scornful. For his delight is in the love of the Lord, and in his law he meditated the night. You see, in order for you to be protected, you need to operate under the law of God. You need to understand who you are in Christ. The Bible says, He that is in Christ is a new creature. Where things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. I say, when they touch you, if you are under the anointing of prayer and fasting, they can't touch you. Knock your chest and say, God, you cover me. Knock your chest and say, God, you cover me. I say, knock your chest and say, God, you cover me. My God. 
So I, I want you to take your way down in the, in the south. It says, and he shall be like a tree. Man, this is the Bible. It said, man is like a tree that planted by the rivers of water. That means, you ever see a tree yet that grow without a seed? Do you ever see a tree grow without a seed? Look, if you want a tree to come brighter, cut down the tree. I look at a few days and you don't see the tree spring up. Because the tree of a seed, I come to tell you, if you connect with the seed in the tree, as a tree that can't touch you, because you are like a tree that planted by the rivers of water, that can't touch you, that can't hold it down. All you got to do is pray and fast. Prayer is not to help God. Prayer don't help God. Prayer help you. When you pray, you are helping yourself. When you pray, you are buffering yourself. When you pray, you are covering your family. Because in order for heaven to come on your behalf, you have to telephone glory. The song I just said, telephone glory. Oh, my joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. In order for current to run, you have to be connected. Look inside here for me and see how I let you call. I call that the plug. Yeah, that kind of bring it for me. I want to show you something, you see? Maybe in the big jar, the big white thing. Yeah, I want to show you something. Because when you, when you are not connected to the source, there is all different type of trouble that will happen to you. You see, and when, and when the things that happen to you, you are saying to yourself, Lord Jesus, oh, it is happening to me. Why these things are happening to me? But you have to understand that there is a source that you have to connect with. You have to connect with a source. You have to connect with a source. And if you connect with a source, and it is not the right source, then the source that you connect with, it will bring you to the place where that source is. But if you connect with the right source, you will connect to power, signs, wonders, miracles. You will never stop elevating. You will never stop Rise on your feet and say, Me, I'm calling the name. I say, I will rise and shine. 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 My God, have a seat. It is important. To have a connection. Hear me very well. It is very important to have a connection with the source. The source. Because the source is a thing that it opens like this. And when you are going down, the source will be able to carry you up. But you, you, you see when you go to a source that no power is in that source. Each time you're trying to go up, the source will pull you down. But when you connect to a source that is carrying the glory, then you have no need to worry. Your life will never go dim. Your current will never cut off because you have been paying your life there. You have been paying your water there. And because of that reason, your life will shine bright do you know if you have your light home and a couple months pass and you don't pay the bill do you know they cut you off what do you pay something in eh APU you know what you mean ah Jesus you don't know, see them when they come they wait till they are asleep they come here and they realize that you, you, you will plug it in back when they got and climb the light post. 
and cut you off from the light post because you are not paying your light bill. I have seen many people, even their water bill cut off because they're not paying the water bill. 10 months, 24 months. Lord Jesus, some people who are light bill and water for five, four years. My God, and when the telephone plays, my God, come and double up the thing. You know, just have light bill and water bill. You have all telephone bill and internet bill. Lord God Almighty, you now pay your bill. That means one day you are going to win the bill without all of them. Now, when, when, you, when, you, when you become a person that lives in darkness, you don't know what to do. Jesus. You could imagine your God. They have a public pipe out here. They have a public pipe. Eh? So there are some people now. They have to go to the public bathroom. Lord Jesus, to get a, to get a shower. And some people have to get bucket. Lord Jesus, you know, I see them get water. Because they have to go around and go to my little bathroom. And, Shuko, 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 because you have the water cut off. Because you have to pay the water bill. I come to show you something. You see, this year it's called an electric cord. My God, I'm going to show you something. Uh, Jesus, come here, my daughter, quickly. Plug this thing over there, sir. And stand up over there. Now put your finger on it, because shock. Yeah, I'm not going to. big pot for boy, no better, but. You hear me tell her? So you just stay right here and don't touch it. I mean, now push me out here. I mean, I want to shock. But I come to show you something. Lord Jesus. You see, you, you have any card here? Find your phone. Anyone have any card? Find your phone. Lord Jesus, get me a card. Lord God Almighty. Because I want to show you when you connected to a source, you will always get energy you will always get power you will always get current into your electricity lord god almighty plug your quicker for me lord god almighty i come to show you something plug it in plug it in uh jesus watch it ah see the current come on current come on that mean Oh God Almighty, she, she connect to a source now, man. You see, when you when, when you when you when you're in church, amen, and, and you, you you are just coming to church, and, and then you are not connected to the to, to the wire. You are not connected to the source. You are not a prayer life. You are not a fasting life. See ya. This is all you're catching. So you're not getting a real source. Not, not current, you see? But the deeper you go, the deeper you go. Lord Jesus, you really want to come on, you know? Okay. All right, see there. See there, you go right in. Hey, Jesus, you come on. Now the light come on. That simply means you are connected. You see, when, when, you, when, you, when you're with Christ and, and you begin to pray, the more prayer you pray is the more current you get. You see, you know the Bible tells us, right? He says, you cannot be lukewarm. You see, if you're lukewarm, God will spit you out of his mouth. Because God don't want no lukewarm people. God want Holy Ghost people. God want people who want to spend time. Lord God Almighty, in prayer and fasting, spend time with God. Can you connect this phone? I just plug it out like that, God. And say the phone chat. If you plug out this phone, and you just plug it in, Lord Jesus is lucky if you get one strike at it. Because it needs to spend at least an hour or two hours. Some phone will take three hours to charge. So you need to charge the phone properly for the phone to work properly. So in order for you to, 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 to be connected with God and the Holy Ghost work through you and your function and stop in unstoppable power and dimension you need to charge your battery properly charge up your spirit properly charge up your spirit properly read your Bible oh God worship him tell him how much you love him lock down the plate lock down the pot and the spoon turn down the stove oh God almighty if you want to use all five people come on the stove and say this week, I'm now getting to a no food if I cook. I am staring on my face before God. Be 
other day I said after the 21 day fasting and I, then my birthday will come after my birthday I'm going into 40 days and 40 nights no I'm telling you this because I'm pushing you I'm not telling you this because I want to tell you because when you're fasting I'm not telling nobody because it's not a brag thing because you can't be like the hypocrites then you see the hypocrites then when they are praying, they walk up their window and they walk them out loud. Can I pray today? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And everybody is in my prayer. But I come to tell you, the Bible says when you pray, enter into your closet and when you pray, open, oh God Almighty, your mouth and close the door of the closet. And when you pray, pray to your Father, which is in secret. And your Father, which is in secret, will reward you openly. And say, if you want the power, if you want the dimension, if you want the life of children, and be a brand new person, you want the enemy taking my not for your children, take care of your job, take care of your life, not need to spend time in prayer and fasting. Very important. Many times I have been attacked, and the only thing that could have saved me it was prayer. Prayer and fasting. I know it's not easy. But do you know, if we don't fast it to God, and you are just fasting for health purposes, do you know that fasting is beneficial to you? Let me tell you, if you can just lock down the plate and begin to drink a lot of water, and begin to take care of your body. Do you know that you become healthier? Yes, because you have put the body under subjection. The Bible says you must present your body on the altar as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. You have to spend time with God. You have to fast and pray. There are some things that I need from God. And I tell myself, I, I, I said, God, I don't know you're going to do it, you know, but I need it. I said, I need it. I need it, Lord. Many times, I'm doing things for the church. And when my back reach against the wall, I can't take it. I just come right here, all off the sheet after this. And try right there, so I just lay them. Lucky you are. I said, God, and you sent me a And I understand this ministry is not ordinary. He said to me, Son, you have to first be persecuted. He said, Son, didn't you see what they have done to me? In order for me to gather in the people, I have to go through the fire. I have to go through the flood. You got to come out pure as good. I said, God, but I can't take it. He said, What do you plan to do? You plan to quit? I said, No, I don't plan to quit. He said, All right, continue carrying the cross. He said, I must be at the cross alone and the world go free. He said, No way. He can't go like that. If you want to carry what I have, I will give to you. Then you have to sacrifice yourself. He said, Son, there is no time around the corner because the years are going by. You need to know that there is a mission here in Antigua and you have to accomplish it. He said, Son, walk my walk and don't look back and tell the people that I am coming back. They must pray, they must fast, they must lift me up and they shall be saved. Anyone ever go to the bed yet? And try to put yourself to sleep. Ever try to put yourself to sleep? If anyone here, God can show me how you put yourself to sleep. I want to leave the point with you. Because I want to focus on knowing how to put myself to sleep. Because every night when you go to your bed, all you do, 
Vad är tror jag jag säger? Har jag tror jag jag bak? Har jag tror jag jag beri? I vill att se på dig. Jag don't care what position you are in the baby. I know that you don't even want to know when you drop asleep. This is some say. Kima. 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 Give me key. Give me key. Give me key. I'm trying to I'm trying to get you somewhere to learn something. You see, the man that put you to sleep, he has a key. And when you come in the night, he turn you off. And when he turn you off, your spirit go to some places. You know my dream says things that you are messy. Yeah, you are mystical. You are a You are a You are a dream. That's why they are in England and Europe. And you don't know how you reach there. And you say to yourself, Jesus Christ. You know, the man you wake up, you say, what kind of dream is this? Because spirit cannot be trapped when it moves. Unless the individual who control that spirit, who is that spirit, can give the right to control their spirit by giving the enemy your keys. It is very important that you know this. If I am in this body, which I am, no, the only way someone can get this body, unless I give them authorization. Now, this body was made to carry two spirits. Good and good. And bad and bad. Now, if you are in Christ, and you are walking under the blood of Jesus, then this body will carry the Holy Ghost and you. But if you are not in Christ and you allow another owner to carry your key, then that person of authorization by you to enter into your body and to live with you inside of it. Hear me very well. Now, in the morning when you wake up, you have a jump up yet. Ah, Jesus, I'm okay now. Jesus. And you're late. You don't know if this is just right. The boss. God almighty. I'm going to make a phone call quickly. I'm going to make a phone call Johnny, Johnny. I'm late. And I'm, I'm going to reach a work a little late. I'm coming. Why? Because your spirit, you could control yourself in the sleep. The only person to control you is God. He is the key man of your life. And if you play the fool with your life, and you serve the Lord as how he wants you to serve him, the Bible says when you think of peace and safety, it's going to be sudden destruction. We need to serve the Lord. Rise up on your feet and say, Lord, I will serve yeah. I said my mind made up and I won't turn back and I want to see my Jesus someday and my mind made up and I won't turn back and I want to see my Jesus someday hey yes my mind made up and I won't turn back and I want to see my Jesus
church. That's why it's not everyone come stay. Because you have people that come who love God. And it don't matter what is happening, they are not going to move because they didn't come for deliverance. They come because they love God. Hear me very well. But then you have people that come for power and they come because they want something from God. Hear me very well. The people that want something from God, they are not going to stay because when they're not getting it, they're going to run. But the people who love the Lord and want to do exploit from the God, for the Lord, they are going to stay and they are going to uh, Jesus, get into some cloth and ashes. They're going to be like Job and say, I am not going to move. I'm waiting until my change comes. It's very important. I am here to tell you today. Don't pluck yourself away. Do not pluck yourself away from the source. You know, I used to do deliverance here every Wednesday. Every Wednesday I'm here. From 10 o'clock, people from all the French church, they are coming for a deliverance. A man, I walk in a man. Ah, oh, Jesus, I work till I Oh God Almighty, when I've done nothing, piece of bread. Said, Pastor God, bless you. The Lord keep you. <laughs> and then me and my mind, I think I said, Lord God, for a man in the left my wife home. <laughs> I go home, I go look in at his face. And I said, okay, let me see. What is going to happen? I said to my wife on the board, I said, I am locking it off. I said, I'm locking off deliverance. I'm finishing with it for a while. I said, no more Wednesday deliverance. We come to church and we serve the Lord and we love the Lord. And man, since I locked the door, I see a new turn. <laughs> and I see a sister, I say, hey, sister, long time to see you. He said, Pastor, the last week went to my house near. I said, you know, you went there, come to church. I deliver what you want. You must come to Jesus. Come to Jesus Christ. He said, what I want to do? Use the anointing. He said, if you need the blessing, you got to take the blessing. Very important. So God is reshuffling the church. God is unpicking the church. And God is not reshuffling and doing some things. And God is saying to the ones that he planned here. He said, children, hear me. Take time out in prayer. Take time out in fasting. There's a song to reach, shout and touch the Lord. As he's passing by, you find him not too busy to hear your heart cry. You're passing by this moment. Your needs will supply. Reach out and touch the Lord as he is passing. 
by. It is time for us to stop use God and love the Lord thy God with all our heart. And I come to be a church. I come to talk to the Lord. We need to put up ourselves in a fasting and prayer and seek the Lord and let the Lord lead and direct. Let me tell you. I'm coming down. Do you know how nice it is? When you can't go on your knees before God. How foolish is church? Because I am not here to take any praise. Because self-praise is no recommendation. If I can teach you how to operate in the supernatural, if I can teach you how to operate in the power of the Almighty God, then if you make me in a position to sit and get a caress and watch you performing like your father and even better than your father, but when you are not climbing to the place where God wants you to be and the enemy keep you in a cool position then it always put me in a position to be pressing in all the time I want to sit down here and I want to see someone come up and say daddy back off and go sit up let me deal with the matter let me deal with the matter and you start to deal with some matter and we say go on my son go on my daughter bust some shot let the enemy know that you are bigger than him The songs that reach out and touch the Lord as he passes. You find him not too busy to hear your heart cry. He is passing by this moment. Your knees will so reach out. Touch the Lord as he is passes. You'll find him not too busy to hear your heart cry. He is passing by this moment. Your needs will so. I talk about love and the situation that is happening in the body of Christ. I want to close this message today by saying I'm encouraging every one of you to love. No matter what nobody has done to you, you have no right to eat the body. Are you hearing me, church? If the day you hear I said that I ate somebody, run from me. If the day you hear I said that one day is doing me something and I want to do him something, I run from me. It is very important that you take the situation down on your knees. The Bible says, Bless them that curse you. And do good to them that hate you. Pray for them who despitefully use you and persecute you. That you may be called the children of your Father which is in heaven. I am in, I'm encouraging the church today. Love. Fight your battles on your knees. Spend time with God on your knees. You don't know how to pray. In church over your car, pastor side. The pastor may not know for prayer. I want you to show me the direction how to pray. The disciples said to Jesus, 
teach us how to pray. That means it can be taught. I just have to sit you down and show you the direction. And all you got to do is begin to use it. Begin to open your mouth. And when you open your mouth, God is going to fill your mouth. very important there's a song that says fill my cup Lord so when you start you start to tell God to fill your cup but as you see the prayer you dash your cup say God fill my truck fill the house fill the car fill me because deeper depth I have death in Christ do you know that in prayer and fasting the tool is there for you to walk with and stop the fever? Hear me very well. If you can learn how to pray, God will open the door and set everything around. I can tell you whenever I get on my knees, the answer. And I don't have to pray for myself. I just think about someone. And I say, God, this person, this person can't walk life. Have mercy. And as I begin to think about someone's problem, God begins to supply my needs according to his riches and glory. I'm encouraging you to the church. Stand for Christ. Get into prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting is what keep a church. If no prayer and fasting in the church, then the church is running out for prosperity message. And there are many ministries today, they are filled with people. Why? Because they are dealing with all prosperity message. And they stand here and they say, It is well with you. The Lord will carry you through. Everything is going well, my sister. It will be well, my brother. May the peace of the Lord go with you. May the strength of the Lord go with you. May you have peace in your soul. May you rise and the favor of the Lord richly bless you. Amen. But when you leave, how you reach home, see a devil when I'm not church with you, go back home with it. Because there was no vitamin. You see, if your body lack of vitamins, you will not able to stand. Preaching to you, and I'm knocking this hammer right at the head. And I'm saying, everyone should get a Bible, everyone should begin to study the word, everyone should be coming to Bible study, everyone should be coming to prayer meeting because that's where the strength comes from, that's where you build yourself, that's where you climb higher. That's where you focus on the word. That's where you learn to pray. That's where you ask questions. That's where your question has been answered. When you come to this time and you come, Lord God, the glory of God with knowledge will impart upon you. It's very important. I was studying the word last night. And while I was studying the word, I pop my Bible. I pop my book. This morning I get up. I take my Bible and I put it beside my book. I take my bag and I put it beside the Bible and the book. When I reach a church, I was moving up and down. I said, Read the life with my Bible. Read the life with my book. My kids take up the bag. And they leave the Bible and the book. 
But when you have the word inside of you, because I already studied the word, so I don't need to have it in my hand because it's already inside of me. The mistake that the enemy makes is to make me study it from last night. I was digging deep in the word, so I know that the yoke of bandage will be broken because I know this is the fasting that he said I must do. And so now he has can't stop me. The people must know to pray and fast. Stand on your feet. If anyone here today that don't know Jesus as a personal savior, I'm asking you to meet me at the altar. I don't know if you fall from grace or whatever you find. I just need you. Come and quench thirsting of my soul. Bread of heaven, feed me till I want. Fill my, fill it up and let. Second time. church from next week and so on. Amen. And um, let us try to bear our members in prayer. Amen. There are many of them out there and um, circumstances. Amen. They have to be doing what they have to do. You know, I was talking to a member yesterday and he said, she said, Man of God, I am praying. He said that I get more dangerous. He said, time that I get to spend home, I am, I am, I am armed and dangerous. And I said, I'm looking forward to see all of you back. Amen. So lift your hands to heaven and say, Lord, touch my sisters. Touch every one of them. Let them continue to be healed. Let they continue to be blessed. In the name of Jesus. Come and quench this thirst in my soul. When I'm heaven, feed me till I want to. You want to give a life to the Lord? I'm a backslider. Oh, you get to me. Oh, you 
saying things to her that she knows is the truth but I, I don't want to say it out, you know that is where it's a curse you understand and that is what street true and come true okay but I'm going to ask the Lord for me to deal with it okay come on bread of heaven feed me till I want no more fill my cup fill it up and let me ask you something. Do you need the deliverance or you need Jesus? You need Jesus. <laughs> Come on, clap for her. So you ready to give your life to the Lord? Come on, clap. Feel my cup. Feel it up by me. You have a sister that passed away. Come and tell us something. Is he yes, right? <laughs> Jesus, it will my cup, Lord. I lift him up, Lord. Wash me in your blood and cleanse me from today. I know and I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Living God, and I will serve Him. Thank you, Lord, for saving me in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, come on. Bless the name of the Lord. Fill my cup, Lord. 
How many of you were blessed by Amen. Him? Amen. I give God praise for His Word. And I thank God that even as the Word comes, it will take roots and it will have effect in our lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want to say good afternoon again and thank you for coming. I really appreciate your coming. And I pray that the Lord will continually strengthen you all from grace to grace, from glory to glory, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, anybody visiting, don't be sitting with us for the first time? Do we have any first time visitors? Okay, now. Any birthday this week? Come on. Today. Today's your birthday? Yeah. Could you start listening for you? 38th of January. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. testimony and laughter in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You are blessed. And happy birthday. Anybody else birthday this week? Okay. Apostle's birthday is on Tuesday. The first of February is Apostle's birthday. Amen. Any anniversary this week? No anniversary. So for the weekly announcement, on Tuesday is our prayer. Tuesday is first. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tuesday is prayer meeting. And on Thursday is Bible study, 7 p.m. sharp. Please come out for Bible studies. I don't see any reason why we prefer Sunday church. Even though we hear the word, but on Sundays is preaching you got. Even though you got the preaching, but you need teaching to keep you grounded. The only way you can be planted and grow and bring forth fruit is when you are being taught. Last Thursday's Bible studies was really good. Because everybody was asking questions. Which are, you can't do it on a Sunday. Sunday, the man of God preached. Whether you understand yes or not, the Holy Spirit will help you. But on, Tuesday, on Thursday, your questions are being answered. You're being enlightened. Illumination come, light come, darkness is expelled. That is why you come, you get teaching so that you can be able to live your Christian life. People say Christianity is easy. It's not. It's all in your mind. It's easy. But it is your mind without being properly informed, you will do the wrong thing. The Bible says that if you love me, keep my commandments. My commandments are not grievous. The things God asks us to do, they are not deeply cause. They are not. It's only our human mind and nature tell us what Christianity had. So you mean those things I used to do, I won't do them no more. What was the gratification? What was the benefit of those things? He that is in Christ. Now that you're in Christ, would you, would you want to grow? Would you keep remaining a baby? No. There will come a time, me too, I want to sit down and you be up here. So that I'll start eating the fruit of my labor. Abi? Right? Abi means right. I'm sorry. Right? <laughs> Amen. So um, before we close, we said the month of January is where we give our first fruits. Many of us have not given our first fruits. Many of us, could you turn on the God bless you all and thanks for joining us this afternoon. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you.